Hi there, my Freckalicious family. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I make my saltfish fritters. Now, here's my saltfish that I have, I have pre-soaked. So now I'm cleaning it up and I'm going to then flake it. Okay guys, so here's my flake saltfish. I'm going to go ahead and chop my veggies. So guys, in my pan, in my frying pan, I'm going to add about a two tablespoon of, of vegetable oil. So guys, with my oil perfectly heated up, I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies. I'm going to start off with my scallion and my onion. Add my cut bonnet pepper, my thyme, my garlic, and my tomatoes. I'm going to saute these and for them to get translucent. So guys, my veggies are done sauteing, so I'm going to just strain it off, to just strain it off, strain off the grease. Guys, after I strain my oil for my, for my sauteed vegetables, I allow it to cool for a short while and then I add it to my flaked saltfish and I'm mixing it. So the next step guys, I have two cups of flour here, so I'm putting it in my mixing bowl and I'm going to now add my salt fish and my saute seasoning into my, oh guys I forget to put in two teaspoons of my baking powder, how could I forget that? Put in two teaspoons of baking powder guys. One. Two teaspoons of baking powder. These things happen in the kitchen, guys. Now I'm going to add my seasoned salt fish. Give that a stir. Mix it all up together. So the salt fish is all over I'm going to get my water so guys you will add the amount of salt fish and the amount of season that vegetables that you want to saute depending on the amount of fritters that you want to make so now I'm going to go ahead and add my water and start mixing so guys this is the consistency that I wanted my with my butter so now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of ketchup to it. Just a tablespoon of ketchup to it and mix it in. We're about to start dropping them guys to get them fried. I pan and put some fresh oil in it. 
and I'm going to start dropping them. So guys, the first set of my surface fritters is out and I place them on some anti-wheels to absorb the excess fat and I'm going to drop the last set. Turn in my second batch guys. Okay guys, removing my final batch of saltfish fritters. Look at that color guys. So I place them on there and my anti wheel for them to drain, for the anti wheel to absorb most of that grease. So there you have it guys, my saltfish fritters. And guys, I serve this with some pepper jelly. It's really nice, guys. I serve this up with some peppered jelly. So guys, there it is guys, my saltfish fritters. So thanks for watching guys. And if you do like this video, go ahead and subscribe and like. Guys, you must also try making your saltfish fritters this week. And try it also with the pepper jelly. It is awesome. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.